Hello, everyone. Welcome to our fourth week, our second week of calculus. We ended last week with a look at uh, derivatives graphically, where we had graphs that were already drawn for us. Today, we want to work, start off by working on how to sketch derivatives. So given a graph of f, what will the graph of f prime look like? For that, we need to introduce two new words. Uh, one word is f is concave up, and another one, f concave down. I haven't filled in these definitions because we have an applet where we'd like you to experiment and see if you can figure out what word to put in these blanks. So in the applet, try to look at the graph of f where f is concave up and see what word you should draw here. Concave up means that it looks like this. Basically, bending upward is the idea of concave up. But we'd like to actually come up with a word to put in this blank. f is concave up if f prime is some word. Similarly, f is concave down means that the graph of f is bending downward. So look in the applet or create a graph in the applet where you've got an f part of a graph that f is concave down and see what word you could fill in about f prime to go in this blank. So in fact, we want to make a whole entire chart about relationships between features of f and f prime. So we've already explained what these two, your, your applet, you should try to figure out these. And similarly, try to figure out what words could go in these four. Now, what I should say is that in two of these cases, there will be no words because there is no relationship between a feature of f here and f prime. So in two of the boxes down here, we're going to end up putting an x, meaning there was no relationship. And in the other four boxes, we're going to put some word that indicates how f prime relates to f. So please go ahead and experiment with that applet. Try to fill in this chart, and then we'll come on back. 